Hello and welcome. My name is Kevin Ashton and today I'm going to show you how to make a velouté sauce. A velouté sauce is one of the six French mother sauces and this term of mother sauce was first coined by a famous French chef called Auguste Escoffier in the early 20th century. Now any velouté sauce is made from a roux and remember whenever you make a roux based sauce you always have to have equal amounts of fat to flour. In this case I've got 40 grams of unsalted butter and 40 grams of plain flour. And here over here we have my stock. Now if I was making this velouté to use on some fish then it would be fish stock but in this case we are going to use uh, the velouté to source some chicken so this is chicken stock. So I've got my heavy bottom saucepan on a medium heat and wanted to wait until the butter was completely melted before I add my flour, my 40 grams of flour. Make sure we get all of the flour out of the container. Then we want to stir it and stir it well. So we have our roux but we want to let this roux cook out to get a little bit more colour on it before we start adding our stock. And also besides getting it a little bit more colour into the roux, we want to cook the roux to cook the flour so that it expands the starch molecules so that when the stock goes into the sauce, it won't go lumpy. And keep touching that spoon on the bottom so you can see the bottom of the saucepan. Really touch the bottom of that saucepan. Now whenever you're making a roux based sauce, besides being patient and cooking the roux out a little bit before you add your liquid, you want to make sure that your liquid is hot. So in the case of velouté, I want to make sure my stock is hot. And we don't want to add too much liquid in the first place, just a little bit. So just maybe half a ladle. And you can see as soon as that liquid touched the roux, it was absorbed by the flour and butter. I want to make sure that I'm not sticking on the bottom of the pan. And then we're going to add another half ladle of stock by adding the stock slowly this will help to give you a nice creamy smooth sauce in the finish so you can see make sure we're touching the bottom of that saucepan really well. Now we're going to add some more stock. And we've turned the heat down to sort of like medium low. And we've added a little bit more stock this time. So we have to be patient and stir it really well to allow that stock to really get absorbed into your roux before we add any more stock. So we're we'll now going to add some more stock. And you see because I've done this process of adding the stock really gradually, I haven't had to use a whisk to make sure the sauce is smooth, just a wooden spoon. Or if you wish, you can use a silicon spoon. And you can also see that the bottom of the pan is nice and clean. So you see some recipes out there and they're using the whisk to make a velouté. That's wrong. That's not how the French would do it. So we're just adding the last few drops of our chicken stock into our velouté sauce. And you can see how nice and smooth the sauce is and you can see that the bottom of the saucepan is not caught at all, it's not burned. And this is your basic velouté, but there's lots of 
things you can add to Volute to make them really, really interesting. But first we're going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. Now ideally you should use white pepper because the white pepper won't show up. I don't have any white pepper. The black pepper will do fine. Um, we're also going to add and finish the sauce with a tablespoon of double cream just to enrich it a little further. And stir that cream in and there you have it. Delicious velouté. Now there are lots and lots of things you can add to velouté. Anything from fresh herbs to all kinds of vegetables. I could add, for example, asparagus tips. I could add sun-dried tomatoes. I could add all kinds of chopped up herbs. I could add roasted peppers, caramelized onions. So it's a great sauce to experiment with. Velouté also uh, can be um, used as, and served as a soup. So if you want to make yourself some quick soup, this is a really easy way to do it. The whole process from start to finish has probably taken me about 25 minutes. So I have my finished velouté here, rich and creamy and wonderful chicken flavor, but we're gonna add a couple of things just to give you a suggestion of what you can do with your velouté. I've got some chopped uh, sun-dried tomatoes, which I'm gonna put into the sauce. I chopped them up, but kept them reasonably chunky. And then we're also going to add a chiffonade of fresh basil leaves. Probably won't add all of those there, we'll probably add about five grams worth. So, delicious sauce. We'll just taste it to check the seasoning. Wow, that's good. Okay, so we're just going to nappe that onto our, we'll just make sure we stirred all those ingredients in. We'll nappe some of that sauce onto the chicken. So I think maybe just a tiny bit more velouté sauce so it covers the chicken completely. Absolutely delicious. This is how you can use chicken velouté for your dinner.